Greetings YouTube, I'm John, and welcome to Earth42 channel, it's a channel of activism and learning from the experience of knowledge, and I'm here about to read a story on Harry Clinton to be a female version of George W. Bush, and here it goes. Harry Clinton is not so smart as she is painted to be. She lost the impossible part of the political race, the TV debate with Barack Obama. Moreover, Harry Clinton showed that she had been to learn a lot about international affairs outside of the United States. It is a worthy of note that Obama failed to sort the case in two. The question from TV host Tim Rosard about the successor of the Russian president Vladimir Putin stumped the two politicians. Hillary Clinton attempted to come out clean of the confusing situation to help of a strike pauses. I can tell you that he's a hand-picked successor, that he's someone who is obviously being installed by Putin. Who Putin can control, who has very little independence, he said. Well, you know what, Hillary? I think you're just ridiculous on cocaine. <clears throat> this is a, a clever but transparent way to put Putin to hold on to power and it raises serious issues about how we're we going to deal with the Russell's going forward. Clinton continued. If Clinton becomes elected president of the United States, he would just have meetings with a person who only takes the position of Russell's president. Where Putin's will be the person to make all the decisions, as he put it. Not so. When the TV host asked his simple question about the name of Putin's successor, Clinton had to struggle to get it out. Med. Um, Medef, whatever, she finally said. You know what, Harry? If you're not interested in with the second world country's largest country's president, then why should you be the president of the United States? When the United States is the superpower, when you have no interest but your cocaine. Okay. And when, was, uh, when the TV host asked his simple question about the name of Britain's successor, Clinton had to struggle to get it out. And she really did, if you think about it. When Roser addressed to Clinton, uh, opener with the same question, he was apparently expecting a more detailed and intelligible answer. However, Obama did not justify expectations. He at first criticized Bush's attitude towards Russell, which is good, Obama. Bush then proceeded to neglect our relationship with Russell at the time when Putin was standing any position in the country. When he was consolidating power, taking power, waiting sabers against his European neighbors, as well as satellites of the former Soviet Union, Obama said, that's for two, Obama. I agree. He said Medvedev, the next successor of Russia, is somebody who was handpicked by Putin. Putin has very clever. He's he's a man that will continue to have the strongest hand in Russia in terms of running the government. Obama said, and that's true. Vladimir Putin has turned Russia from a downfall economy to a wanting economy. Uh, Vladimir Putin has turned Russia from the downfall of communism to the rise of capitalism in Russia. So I do not see how he is a bad president. Experts internationally concluded that the TV debate showed Obama's advantage over Clinton, despite the confusing movement with the name of the Russian presidential successor. One could see that Hillary Clinton was being nervous during the discussion, <laughs> where Barack Obama was staying absolutely concentrated and calm. As always, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it, now, it's always, because when a person is hiding something, the person's nervous, and not feeling very secure about it. Now, now unlike a person who knows uh, what it is, and is being honest to himself, and honest to the people, it's, the person's probably nervous or not, it depends on the person's shy or not, but if you look at somebody's eyes, you know if the person's lying. You look at Harry Clinton, so you think she's a psycho, which I do, in my perspective. Don't get me wrong, she might be the wife of Bill Clinton, but she was a good president, but his wife is a cocaine crackhead. Nothing else to say. I'm sorry if any females get gets mad at me, 
But look at her biography. She and Mr. Bill Clinton, they did a lot of, and still do, cocaine and black market business. And I don't like that. Who does? Thank you. And I advise everybody to check out Plavida.ru. It's a great news agency, just like BBC News. Goodbye. Thank you. Come on, YouTube.